Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some fashion mistakes that we all make that make our outfits look super cheap. A lot of these things are things that we are doing on a regular basis without even knowing it. So I wanted to bring all of these things to your attention to help you and make sure that you are always looking and feeling your best. Now before I hop into the video, I quickly wanted to talk about something that is making me feel my absolute best today and that is my brand new jewelry. So you guys know how much I love Ana Luisa and as part of my ambassadorship with them, I picked up some brand new jewelry that I am so excited about. I'm telling you guys, these new pieces are probably hands down my most favorite pieces from the Ana Luisa collection thus far, aside from this minimalistic uh, chunky gold ring that I wear literally on a daily basis. So I wanted to share with you the pieces that I picked up this time around and I'm going to start off with showing you this beautiful dainty gold necklace. I'm wearing it under my blouse today but you can't see it because my blouse is covering it up but I'm going to insert some b-roll here so you can get a better look at it. As you can see the chain is a very very delicate and thin. It's completely adjustable so I have it on the shortest setting right now. You can make it a longer if you wanted to and it has this very delicate V that's encrusted with crystals. Now my husband thinks I got this necklace for him because his first name starts with V, but little does he know, I just like the necklace. But if he thinks that I got it for him, it's a win-win for us both. I love this necklace and it's a perfect layering piece. You can also wear it on its own. As you can see, it looks stunning just on its own. And then I also picked up these beautiful earrings that actually look so cool paired together. The first pair of earrings are these crystal studded uh, gold huggies. So they're tiny, tiny hoops that hug the lobe of your ear just perfectly. I love wearing huggies. I think they are super cool. They're edgy and they're also classic at the same time. And you can mix and match them with a bunch of different earrings in your collection. And then I picked up these really sick uh, chain loop hanging earrings. I love that these are so unique and cool but they're also minimalistic and delicate at the same time it's a very different vibe unlike anything that i have in my collection and i love the way that these earrings look with my new huggies so if you guys are interested in checking out anything from the Ana luisa website you can use the link in my description box down below and also enter the code sky 10 at checkout and it's going to get you 10 percent off your entire order so thank you so much to Ana luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video and with that let's Let's hop right in. So the first fashion mistake that is making your outfit look cheap and I cringe every time I see this out in public is see-through leggings. Ladies, please do yourself and the public a favor and invest in some good non-see-through leggings. Nobody wants to see your high knee through your leggings. They don't want to know what underwear you're wearing through your leggings. It is just not a good look. It looks really trashy in my opinion and it makes your entire outfit look super, super cheap. Now, I want to warn you guys, I'm going to be making some very, very assertive opinions and statements in this video. But as always, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. I'm not going to be offended. This is just my opinion. If you want to keep rocking these styles and you think that they look amazing, you do you. I just thought I would throw that out there and let you know, as always, my opinions are always my own and you're more than welcome to disagree with them. The next fashion mistake that I think really ruins an outfit and makes it look super cheap are slouchy handbags. Like, hobo style handbags that have no shape to them that kind of look like a sack of potatoes or a lunch bag it's just not my vibe i know that right now the bottega veneta clutch is like the hottest thing and no matter how many times i try to convince myself that i like this bag it just looks like an oversized paper lunch bag that my mom would use to throw my lunch into and send me off to school with the next thing that i think really cheapens an outfit is fake looking suede or leather. Now, don't get me wrong. Nowadays, there are beautiful vegan suede and leather pieces out on the market that look sometimes even better than the real thing. And they're super luxe, super high quality, and they will make your outfit look super expensive. But there are also those 
faux leather and faux suede pieces out there that look so awful that they will 100% cheapen your look and make it look like you picked it up from Walmart. No offense to Walmart, I love Walmart. I do have to say that was a little bit dramatic, but I felt like I really had to drive that point home. You know what I mean? The next fashion mistake that I think really cheapens an outfit are tops that have sleeves that are cropped in a really weird place. So I am a tall girl. I am almost five foot ten and it is one of my biggest pet peeves when my sleeves cut me off in the most strangest spot on my arm because it just looks like the top that I'm wearing doesn't fit me properly but weirdly enough there are some shirts out there that are purposely designed this way for whatever reason and I think that it is super unflattering and it looks super super cheap so when you are looking for a top make sure that it hits you at either your wrist or somewhere along the upper arm area I feel like that tends to be the most flat Flattering cutoff point for a top. Anything that hits below the elbow, unless it's something that you intentionally scrunched upwards, just looks very awkward and cheap. So as much as it is my pet peeve when a top has weird uh, cutoffs for sleeves, I get even more annoyed when my pants cut off at a really unflattering point. Like I mentioned, I am a tall girl, so it is really, really hard for me to find uh, pants and jeans that hit me in a really flat flattering spot so I try to find something that hits me around the ankle maybe an inch or two higher up but anything that cuts off mid calf for me or somewhere in between my calf and my knee gets into really unflattering and cheap territory real quick so when you're going out to shop for pants try to look for hemlines that hits around the ankle area for the most flattering look another fashion mistake that I see all too often are people wearing jeans or pants in general that are just way too tight. If your bottoms are squeezing you in all the wrong places and are creating bulges and love handles where you may not have bulges and love handles, your bottoms are too small. I've learned throughout the years that the worst thing you can do is look at the size on any piece of clothing. Sizing should be used as a guideline. You should always try things on and if something is too small or too large, doesn't matter what the size is, size up or size down to make sure that it fits right. Since we're already on the subject of bottoms, I personally cannot stand when people wear jeans or bottoms that are so low waisted to the point that I can see their butt crack. I think this is such a fashion faux pas and is super unflattering and 100% makes your outfit look cheap and I don't recommend anyone try this out, even if you're a plumber. It's not a good look. No one wants to see your butt crack. Make sure that that area is covered up and you will prevent your outfit from looking super cheap. So when I am not filming or taking photos for Instagram, I love my sweatsuits. I love lounging around in baggy clothes all the time, but I feel like on for most occasions, if I'm going out and about, shapeless clothing just looks cheap and sloppy in my opinion. Now, I love athleisure wear. There is a way to dress up athleisure wear in a very elevated and cool and chic way. What I am talking about is like the super, super oversized baggy shapeless clothing that kind of swallows you up and completely disguises your body. I think this type of look appears very sloppy on the outside. It's super unflattering in my opinion and it can make you look cheap. So when you're looking for uh, baggier clothes, like let's say athleisure wear, make sure that it is baggy enough so that you feel comfortable, but not so baggy that you cannot see your frame and you look like you've been swallowed by a ginormous piece of cloth. Another one of my biggest pet peeves are wrinkled clothes. Now I totally understand that there are certain fabrics such as linen that are more prone to wrinkling. That's just the nature of linen and I personally love the look of linen so I'm not gonna stop wearing linen because it wrinkles really easily but if you do have clothes that tends to wrinkle very very easily invest in a steamer I'm telling you it is going to be such a game changer it makes all the difference in the world when you have a shirt that is 
freshly steamed and looks nice and crisp versus a shirt that has so many wrinkles in it, I definitely think that it completely cheapens the look. The next fashion mistake that I think looks super cheap is clothing with rips, but there is an exception. You guys know how much I love my ripped denim, but I feel like there is a sweet spot. I feel like sometimes ripping in clothing can look so over the top and tacky and can really, really cheapen a look. I personally like to go for more a, of a subtle ripped look. I love a frayed edge around the uh, bottom of my denim like I am wearing today. I love a little bit of ripping in the knee like you can see, but I draw the line when there are rips in the butts, there are rips all across the thighs, you have a huge slash going across your chest. What's the point in wearing clothing if it looks like it's been eaten by moths? anyway all i'm saying is that there has to be balance balance is key when it comes to majority of things in life and that is definitely true for ripped clothing same thing goes for clothing with holes seriously i do not understand people who wear t-shirts and spend hundreds of dollars on those t-shirts that look like they've literally been eaten by moths. They have holes all over them. They look like they have either been taken to by a pair of scissors or maybe it was attacked by a flea of cats. It's just not a good look in my opinion. I, and I don't understand it. I don't see how it could look good on anyone and I definitely think that it cheapens an outfit. If you want to go for a very laid back, cool vibe when it comes to your t-shirts, for example, go for a vintage tee. I love vintage tees or band tees, but t-shirts or clothing with intentional holes in them, not so much. So probably one of the most annoying things about certain fabrics that I can't stand are those fabrics that literally attract everything. Everything sticks to them from lint to dust to your house pet. Literally everything sticks to those fabrics. Why? I used to have this pair of black trousers that I loved. It fit so well, but the moment I would sit down on a carpet or on a fabric couch, my black trousers were no longer black. They literally attracted everything in their surroundings and it's it just such a nightmare to deal with. No matter how many times you lint roll that piece of fabric, it is just not a cute look. So if you accidentally purchase a piece of clothing that tends to attract everything in sight, make sure it's something that you can return because I promise you it is going to be such a pain in the and it's something that is going to totally cheapen your entire outfit. Another thing that I get so annoyed about when it comes to clothing is fabrics that pill. It drives me absolutely nuts. And I've had this issue happen with expensive clothing too, which I don't understand. Why is it that even when you spend a good amount of money on certain pieces of clothing, they still tend to pill? In my opinion, that is completely unacceptable. You could get one of those debobblers from Amazon, but I feel like it's such a headache to deal with. Now, I know that it's super hard to avoid clothes that pills most of the time because you have to wear it and wash it several times before you can actually see that it pills. So if you do have some pieces in your clothing that have are already pilled and you can't return them at this point, invest in a debobbler from Amazon and just debobble all of your pilled clothing. It's gonna make that piece look brand new. It's gonna make it look a lot more fresh and it's gonna make sure that your outfit does not look cheap. Another fashion mistake that I personally think looks so, so cheap is PVC accessories and clothing. So if you guys don't know what PVC is, it's pretty much plastic. I've seen shoes made out of PVC, I've seen handbags made out of PVC, tops made out of PVC. Not only does it look super cheap, but in my opinion, it is so uncomfortable to wear. Who would want to wear shoes made out of PVC? I feel like that is probably the most uncomfortable material to have in a pair of shoes. That's the first thing. Secondly, I feel like as soon as your foot starts to sweat, the entire world will be able to see it. And that in and of itself is not a good look in my opinion. And when it comes to PVC handbags, I really don't understand who in their right mind would want to display all of their belongings inside of their handbags to the universe? Unless you're one of those people who only has like 
artifacts in their purse. I really don't understand why would you want to show off your pack of tampons, your breath mints. Moral of the story is I think your personal belongings in your handbag should stay personal. All right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, I want to remind you that all of the opinions are just my opinions. You are more than welcome to disagree with them if you want to. And if there's anything that I missed in this video, any fashion mistakes that you think really, really cheapen an outfit, let me know what they are in the comments. I also wanted to remind you guys to check out Ana Luisa if you're interested in checking out any of the jewelry that I am wearing in this video. I'm gonna link them in my description box down below. And don't forget to use my code guy 10 for 10 percent off of your order and with that i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you in my next one